Assalamualaikum and good day students. Again, this is Archie Durig of Mathematics Department, your video lecturer of this topic, Derived Conditionals and Biconditional Statements. Before we proceed, kindly watch first the part one of my video lectures before watching this video. The statement P if and only if Q is called by conditional statement. It is written as of this symbol and is equivalent to the conjunction P implies Q and Q implies P. And we have this truth table for P if and only if Q. By conditional statements are true only when P and Q have the same truth values. So, true, if and only if true, the truth value is true. And false, if and only if false, the truth value is false. Example state whether each biconditional statement is true or false. So, number one x plus 4 equals 7 if and only if x equals 3. Observe that both equations are true. So since equation have the same truth values for any value of x, then the biconditional statement is true. And number 2, x squared equals 36 if and only if x equals 6. So these equations are true for x equals 6. But however, when x is negative 6, the first equation is true but the second is false. Thus, the equation have the same truth value only for some values of x. Hence, the biconditional statement is false. Next, x is greater than 7 if and only if x is greater than 6. So both equations are true for any value of x greater than 7. Likewise, they are both false when x or they are both false for any value of x less than 7. However, when x is equal 7, the first equation turns false while the second is true. Hence, the biconditional statement is false. Number 4, x plus 5 is greater than 7, if and only if x is greater than 2. So, this, both equations have the same truth value for any value of x. That is, both equations are true when x is greater than 2 and false when x is less than 2. Thus, this is a true statement. And lastly, the statements related to conditional statement P implies Q, which is the derived conditionals. We have the converse of P implies Q is Q implies P. The inverse of P implies Q is not P implies not Q. And the contrapositive of P implies Q is not Q implies not P. Example, write the converse, the inverse, and the contrapositive of the following conditional statements. If you are good in mathematics, then you are good in logic. So the converse of this statement is, if you are good in logic, then you are good in mathematics. And the inverse if you are not good in mathematics, then you are not good in logic. And for the contrapositive, not P implies not Q. If you are not good in logic, then you are not good in mathematics. Number two, if I get the job, then I will rent the apartment. The converse, Q implies P, is 
if I rent the apartment, then I get the job. The inverse, which is not P, implies not Q. If I do not get the job, then I will not rent the apartment. And the contrapositive, which is not Q, implies not P. If I do not rent the apartment, then I did not get the job. Number three, if x is an odd integer, then x squared plus 2 is even. And the converse, p implies q. If x squared plus 2 is even, then x is an odd integer. The inverse, which is not p implies not q. If x is an integer, even integer, then x squared plus 2 is odd. Contrapositive, if x squared plus 2 is odd, then x is an even integer. And lastly, if we have a quiz today, then we will not have a quiz tomorrow. The converse, if we will not have a quiz tomorrow, then we will have a quiz today. And the inverse, not P implies not Q. If we do not have quiz today, then we will have quiz tomorrow. And the contrapositive, not Q implies not P. If we will have a quiz tomorrow, then we do not have a quiz today. The truth value for the converse, the inverse, and contrapositive of the conditional statement P implies Q. So this table here represents the truth tables. This table represents the truth value. Observe that the conditional statement, the, the truth value of the conditional statement P implies Q is equivalent to the contrapositive of P implies Q. And also the converse of the conditional statement P implies Q is equivalent of the inverse of P implies Q. Example, determine the truth value of the contrapositive, the inverse, and the converse of the following conditional statements. If January has 31 days, then June has also 31 days. Observe that P is true but Q is false. So referring to our truth tables, the converse is true, the inverse is true, and the contrapositive is false. Next, number two, if 5 is greater than 7, then 5 is greater than 4. Observe that our P here is false and Q is true. So the converse is false, the inverse is false, and also the contrapositive, but the contrapositive is true. Number three, if Rodrigo Duterte is the current Philippine president, then Maru has lost the 2016 presidential election. So observe that P is true and also Q is true. So therefore, the converse is true, the inverse is true, and the contrapositive is also. Number four, for all X element of this set, Containing the elements negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, such that if x squared equals 25, then x equals 5. So in this example, the given conditional statement involves open sentences that is labeled as this one by px and 
this one for qx. Note that the truth set of these open sentences for p of this one is negative 5 and 5, while for this is positive 5. Thus, it clearly shows that the conditional statement is false because this one must be a subset of q or p must be a subset of q. It follows that the contrapositive is false while the inverse and converse are both true. That would be all. Thank you for listening.